There's $500 worth of formic pro formic acid. In 2018, I bought 25. It seemed to work fine that winter. Last year, 2019, I bought three more. It's not expired. It did not kill the varroa mites. So I say formic pro, formic no. <clears throat> it did not kill the varroa mites. It wasn't worth the money. Every time I've used it, it's killed 10% of my queens which is really a negative thing when you think about it. And they say it kills fragile queens. That's a marketing con to get you to think your queens were fragile to begin with, and they weren't. <clears throat> I'm at 121 hives right now. And I currently have 58 colonies. March 8th there's my bee truck three thousand dollars it's got 62,000 miles on it. it was city owned so it's been well maintained and because of the Formic Pro didn't work last fall I used it September I did the double ten and I was skeptical 2018 and I checked my bees regularly to see if I still had mites and I didn't find any. So I figured 2019 it would do the same and I wouldn't have any mites. And I didn't check them in October and I started realizing my bees were dying at an alarming rate. Check my videos. You can go back through and check my videos and see how my bees were dying. Hey, if you have hive beetles and you want to get rid of your hive beetles, keep your hives high enough where chickens can get underneath it. To get those high beetles when they fall out. During the summer, I don't use bottom boards, just bottom screens, and everything falls out, and the chickens are right there. They're right there to eat those hive beetles, and I haven't had an issue with hive beetles. But wax moths, you gotta make sure in early spring that the wax moths don't get in your hives before your colonies get large enough to handle all the frames in those hives. That's why you downsize. 64 was smaller than I expected them to be for this time of year. I downsized them and if you seen my other video the other day I didn't lose any brood because it got down into the, the teens The other day I didn't lose brood. I just checked them today They're fine, but I downsized them because they're not gonna be large enough before the wax moths get here in April I'm expecting April but all these colonies here are large enough, and I managed to save them because I switched to acidic acid in November. It really hurt my bees in September that the Formic Pro Formic Acid didn't work. When those queens were laying those winter bees, they got virosis, and they died through the month of October, which really hurt the population of my bees. And down here in my cellar, I've been sticking all of my frames with foundation on it. I don't want wax moths to get into my frames. I don't have any issues with wax moths right now. It's March 8th again, like I said. And I want to make sure I don't have any issues with wax moths this spring. So I put everything down here. This is all new foundation. I just ran out of room during the winter when I put those foundations on the frame. But everything here has got used foundation the bees have been on them even in a medium the, the wax moths can get on that if the bees have been there and they could just overpopulate those frames before you know it you have an issue with wax moths so i keep them down here the wax moths have not been able to penetrate this room <clears throat> and they're in a convenient location for me when i need a frame i just go down and get one And the reason straps are on these is because if they're too small to be outside when it's really cold, they bring them in. And I'm always assessing the size. And like over there, I've found two of them that are large enough that I don't have to bring anymore. And there's only two left over there they have to bring in at night. And I'm going to check these here when I get done this video. And if they're large enough I don't have to wheel them in anymore, I'll take the strap off. <clears throat> So after seven years of beekeeping, waiting for a decent product to come out, being skeptical about everything that comes out on the market, 
I've actually found something that really works, a silic acid. I bought this off of Walmart for $28. And I bought this on eBay from Man Lake for 110 And this one came from Better Bee last year. And I got ripped off. They love to rip people off. 350 grams, $38. Think about it. $38, $28. 10 pounds, 350 grams. That's just ridiculous. So I can keep one of these hot now at all times. And I'll be able to go through my colonies quicker. Because that oxalic acid does not kill varroa mites in the brood. And I'm okay with that. Because Formic Pro kills 10% of your queens and didn't kill any Varroa mites last time I used it. So these window colonies here are the smallest colonies I have. And I'm always checking them at least once a week if I get a chance. And as soon as they get large enough, they keep the queen laying, they get large enough, these will get slid out. I'll make a row out here and I'll pop those out of the windows and slide them down onto the deck. And I'll eventually work my colonies out onto this deck and I won't have any of the windows. And then what I'm gonna do in April, those large colonies, I'm gonna take the queens to the east side of my house with a large number of the brood. And I'm gonna leave a smaller nuke there so that I can do some, some mating nukes early May and April, it depends on the weather. And then Commercial beekeepers come to my area mid-June. I'm going to pull all my large colonies out of this location down south, away from farmers' fields, and I'm going to make honey this summer. And I'll probably leave some mating nukes when I do that. So I'm going to be constantly breeding mating nukes this summer. And it's a whole lot easier and cheaper than buying queens. I don't buy queens. I don't buy nukes. I don't buy packages. I don't spend any money on bees. I spend money on products like foundation. And I'll no longer spend any money on Formic Pro because it does not work. So Formic No is what I say about Formic Pro. Formic No. Okay, thank you.